Welcome to a brand new school and to grade one. They might have been nervous about going to big school after preschool, but the little ones received a warm welcome. You see, staff from Danon were excitedly present to offer them yogurt, fruit sticks and snacks to ease their nerves. After all, the aim of the day was to provide moms, dads and the grade ones especially with healthy eating tips to get their bodies ready for a successful schooling career. The nutrition status of our children is poor um, and that is a massive inhibitor to their development. A child who is poorly nourished isn't able to meet their full potential in the classroom, on the sports field, in their growth and development. So we really need to identify what those causes are. Did you know that sadly, one in five South African children skip breakfast every day and that less than half of South Africa's children eat enough vegetables and fruit? This is worrying. So while learners played edutaining games outside, parents received information about healthy eating to ensure that even lunchboxes are prepared with the necessary nutrient combinations in mind. Here are a few useful points to consider. People often think that healthy eating is expensive and I hear that come up all the time. It's inaccessible and it's too expensive. But what people need to remember is that healthy eating is not this distant, unachievable thing. So healthy eating doesn't need to talk about salmon and blueberries. That's actually a massive misrepresentation of what healthy eating is. It's about day to day choosing brown bread over white, choosing whole wheat bread over brown. So think of a variety of different foods like um, you can start with perhaps a sandwich with peanut butter on it, a brown bread sandwich to incorporate some fiber, um, maybe some vegetables on the side. So a handy idea is to have carrots, which are cost effective, cut them up into neat carrot fingers and include them into the lunchbox. People underestimate the value of a whole fruit as a ready to go snack because it's whole, it's ready to go, it's easy to grab and it's really nutritious as well. The day got even more exciting. The grade ones had fun in the sun while learning about key things to keep them healthy and fit. Games that teach about the food types that enrich bone strength, brain development, physical fitness and healthy eating kept their energy levels high. Vitamin A would be good for your eyesight, so that helps with keeping your eyes strong when you're in the classroom. So that's how we engage with the kids by um, doing a memory block game to help them remember so they use their memory, mind and their eyes. Then you get vitamin B which will help you with your heart, right? And then that keeps your heart strong. Then obviously you have bones which is your vitamin D. So that we do we push that through by doing a balance game called the balancing act showing them that you need strong bones if you want to continue having that strong energy. Exercise is also vital too. And you should also have dairy products to help you stay strong and carry on. Exercise is very good for your body, muscles, and it's very, very good for your bone structure. Drink water, and then maybe drink some, eat some fruits and vegetables, and then go to the gym. And then when you come back, you can maybe eat something nice. A vegetable garden will also be a good reminder for learners to make healthy eating choices. So learners were each given a recycled one kilogram yogurt tub to plant vegetables which they will nurture and grow throughout the year. You see, some learners eat at school, so meals will be better prepared with vegetables from the school's very own garden. Nice one! I'm happy because parents are here also to listen to this. You know, what, what, what we have uh, learned is that children come to school and they eat whatever. Then we experience problems in class. They sleep sometimes and so on because of what? Not eating healthy food. But with this program, with this done on in our school, I think there's going to be a change. Guys, listen up. I know that you think our sweet sweeties are delicious and super cool and lacquer. Um, and I get it, maybe they taste really good, but remember that those sweets are not adding any nutrient benefit to your body. We should have a good diet. Let's say a chocolate with our lunch and then a salad or a healthy sandwich. Checking the expiring dates. I remember a friend of mine died because he ate chocolate that was expired. So I think it's really, really important to watch what you're eating. Healthy food is good for your blood and good for your body. So sometimes you need to exercise and not eat unhealthy things like sweets, cold drinks and 
stuff like that. A perfect diet is when you have carbohydrates, protein, vitamins and minerals, fats and oils, and every, every element that is in the pyramid of the food table. We learned we must eat lots of vegetables every day because vegetables is healthy. Mission accomplished. Better eating habits will certainly keep these learners performing well holistically. After all, a happy body makes a happy learner. Didn't Lemokeletsi, SABC News, Johannesburg.